Thank you for that rousing introduction, Don. <laughs> and good morning, class of 2023. So I just want to start by being totally honest. When Dr. Fernandez first asked me to give this convocation address, my heart leapt into my throat. <laughs> I was anxious. I was, in fact, deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> and that's exactly why I said yes. Today, I want to speak with you just for a few minutes about the value of feeling uncomfortable. I want to suggest to all of you that you consider situations where you find yourselves uncomfortable as opportunities for growth and not necessarily situations that you should avoid. First, what do I actually mean when I say uncomfortable? I'm not talking about being abused or harassed or feeling physically unsafe, but rather when I talk about discomfort, I'm referring to situations that will inevitably arise in your 20s and beyond, and especially here at college, when you find you do not know the lay of the land, you are surrounded by people who are different than you. These initially anxious situations when you aren't the smartest in the classroom anymore, when you find yourself with way, way, way more questions than answers, when you get glimpses of how wonderfully but also terrifyingly big a world it is out there, these are the uncomfortable situations I'm talking about. Let me get concrete for a minute and draw from my own experience of feeling uncomfortable recently. A few years ago, 2016 to be exact, I faced some hard choices about my own future, choices that made me anxious. And I'm talking about my decision to come to this place, to Penn State Abington. When I received a job offer to come and work at this beautiful campus, it meant leaving the comforting proximity of my family, including my parents, and I am their only child. It meant leaving my friends, and I've had a lot of them since kindergarten, some before kindergarten, uh, for a new city, for a new employer, and for a new country. I am Canadian, that's my deeply kept secret, I'm Canadian, <laughs> and the choice to leave Canada in 2016 for the US during one of the most crazy <laughs> election campaigns in modern history uh, baffled most of my friends and family up north, to be honest, and frankly, I had no real idea about what this country might look like after that, and of course, this is something that we're all still working out together. But in leaving Canada, I made a profound leap of faith. Leaving was insanely hard. And living here hasn't always been easy. But I do not regret my decision to embrace the uncomfortable unknown. Because I know that in the relatively short time that I've been here, I am not the same person who left the security of her Toronto home. I honestly feel like I'm a part of something vibrant and growing and new here. And in leaving, I made the choice that both of my parents had made in the 70s to leave the security of their own Caribbean homes for Canada. They too did something uncomfortable. Now, a lot of you have already faced serious discomfort already to be here today. Maybe you are the first in your family to go to college and you feel like you don't know what the heck you're really doing here. You feel like an imposter. Maybe you've already traveled much farther than I have to be here. Maybe you're used to being the only one in the room that looks like you. I see all of you. And I'm here to tell you that these moments of feeling out of place, of feeling uncomfortable, can make you stronger if you let them. They can make you more resilient than those who give up when faced with anything that challenges them. So in closing, I want to share an anonymous quote with you, and it goes like this. A comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. So what might that mean for you, class of 2023? This semester, when you feel uncomfortable, perhaps because you realize how much you don't know in your classes, this will probably almost certainly happen, 
Don't take this as a sign that you don't belong. Instead, lean into this discomfort. Ask questions. Talk to your professors. Study and grow. And also, talk to each other. Try to make friends you would never have even spoken to in high school. Friends that may challenge your beliefs. You are a generation born into a fragmented world. And the only way that you guys are going to fix it is by learning to live with and to embrace discomfort. So good luck, class of 2023, and thank you. <laughs>